po na iniimbitahan namin ang napakabuti mong presensya, napaka igting mong puso para sa amin. Salamat po sa bawat isa na naririto. Hayaan niyo po na patuloy na kayo ang inyong salita ay mamunga sa amin. At huwag niyo po kaming hahayaan na lumabas dito sa lugar na ito na hindi kami napagpapala niyo, Panginoon. Dad, bless each one. Even uh, nasa technical booth, Lord, we even pray for the video that we would see the picture of what you have done uh, through the teams, Lord. Lord, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Good morning po. Wow. Okay. Layo ba? Good morning. Uh, kagabi po, kagagaling lang din namin sa Palawan. And it was great uh, being there. Last year we were there, but yung host namin, I've never talked to them for almost seven years. So ang dami nang nagbago. And God's timing is really amazing because sabi nung pastor, sabi niya kung noon kayo tumawag, hindi namin kayo maasikaso. So, may, may, may plano talaga si Lord. Di ba? At sa team Clarin, welcome back. Bohol and Leyte. May Leyte rin, di ba? Sila Kuya Bong. Asan sila Kuya Bong? May Leyte rin. Kila Kuya Bong. Um, at Bicol. Bicol siguro magsisimba mamaya. Pagod pa ang peg nila. Okay? Hagardo Bersosa ang peg. No? Ako, I have to wake up early. I have to sleep two hours lang, pero ang sarap naman ng tulog. Praise God. Uh, our title for today, we are in a series of Ephesians. Okay? Our title is Seated in the Heavenly Places. Okay? Remember, the first part that Brother Ray has shared is the blueprint of heaven. And then Hannah shared about... Um, what was that? I forgot. Sealed with a promise. And then I shared releasing the new culture or the culture of love. Okay, we release it. Okay, now we come on chapter, 20, uh, chapter 2, seated in the heavenly places. I saw one post of a well-known preacher. Sabi niyang ganon, it is good to meditate in the fundamentals. Do you agree? It is good to meditate, to go back in the basics. Because ang one illustration yan is in the work of the military. If there is a war, tapos nagkakagulo na, nagkakabumbahan, eh, you would go back to your basic training. Kung hindi mo alam yung basic training mo, na yumuko at pumunta dun sa ditch, tatamaan ka. That's the basic training. At tayo rin, may mga basic training tayo. Hindi po ba? Pa pag gising sa umaga, mananalangin, okay, or kakain muna, or diretso sa CR, sa ating mga offices, sa ating mga anak, sa ating mga culture, meron tayong mga basic na kailangan nating panghawakan. Although we don't want to stay in the basic, we have to go forward. Okay? Balikan lang natin. Can you flash Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1 to 10? Yung easy worship. Okay. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins. Paul was talking to the Ephesians. Next slide, please. In which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world. Sinasabi niya, ganito kayo nabubuhay noon, mga taga Ephesians, and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air. The Spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. Let it stay there. In which, let it stay there, in which you used to live when you follow the ways of this world. Dati daw, nung hindi pa tayo kristyano, sinusunod natin sino? Ang demonyo. Hindi nga natin alam na sinusunod natin yung demonyo. Ayan nung yung patoto. When you followed the ways of this world and the ruler of the kingdom of the air. So nung hindi pa tayo kristyano, Okay? Sinusunod natin is the prince of this world. Do you agree? Di ba? Uh, yung iba nagsisimba sa atin, pero akala natin, eh, ligtas na tayo. 
But we are following the, the, the prince of the kingdom of the air. The spirit, makikita nyo dyan, small uh, caps, who is now at work in those who are disobedient. So the enemy is working in the people who is disobedient right now. Sabi nga ni sister, uh, pagpasok pa lang daw nila sa klarin, eh, uh, sa buhol, may nararamdaman na siyang iba. Okay? May tatlong pinadala. Okay? Hindi kalaban yung mga bata, pero yung umi-influensya dun sa mga bata. Di ba? Kasi may spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. Next slide po. All of us also live among them at one time. Okay? Namuhay din tayong katulad nun. So we don't have that arrogant thing in us to say to, to the people who are not yet believers na, Oy, sa impyerno na kagad kayo pupunta. No? We don't know. Malay nyo, sa huling hininga, tumanggap. Di ba? Okay, gratifying the cravings of our sinful nature and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature objects of wrath. Or, sabi dyan, sa Tagalog, is that tayo daw ay handa na dapat lipulin ng Panginoon. Objects of His wrath. No, gusto ng lipulin ng Panginoon. Medyo galit na. Okay, next slide please. But, ito yung but, because of His great love for us, take note, not just love, but great love. That's how God is. God who is rich in mercy. Take note again, not just mercy, but rich in mercy. He has a great love for us and His rich mercy. When God gives, it's always over and over. It's exceeding. It's extravagant. It's sobra sobra when He gives. Next slide. Made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. We all know this. Diba? Kailangan alam na, natin ho ito, fundamental, nung naging totoong kristyano ho ako, kasi yung iba, tinanggap ko na si Jesus, pero kahit itong simpleng verse na ito, hindi alam. Diba? Tayo daw ay naligtas sa pamagitan ng ating pananampalataya at sa kagandahang loob. Hindi gracia. Akala natin yung grace. Uh, Tagalog niya, gracia. Pero pwede rin, siguro. Pero kagandahang loob or kabutihang loob. Napakabuti. Kaya nga tayo kumakanta, napakabuti ng ating Diyos. Okay? Yan yon. It is by grace you have been saved. Dahil napakabuti niya, niligtas ka niya. Kung tinanggap mo ang Panginoon. Okay? Next. And God raises up with Christ... Hindi lang yon niligtas ka. Ito, ito yung tututukan natin. Niligtas ka, tapos ni-raise ka, inakyat ka, kasama ni Kristo, at nakaupo sa kalangitan. Isipin lang muna natin yon Niligtas ka na, inangat ka pa sa kalangitan. At sinabi dyan, past tense po yan. Pag sinabing past tense, nangyari, seated. Mula nung tinanggap mo si Jesus, inakyat ka doon. May parte, hindi ko ma-explain ng maliwanag ito, pero may parte tayo ngayon, kung ikaw ay totoong kristyano, alam mo ito, may parte ka na, na, na spiritual na nandun sa kalangitan ngayon. Naintindihan niyo po yung sinasabi ko? God raises up with Christ. Eh, hindi pa naman tayo patay. Di ba? So, ibig sabihin, hindi ito mangyayari pa lang. Ito ay nangyari na. Past tense eh. With Him in the heavenly realm, in Christ Jesus. Kasama pa si Kristo. Naunawaan po natin. Ang galing no? Niligtas ka na, inakyat ka pa. Meron kang posisyon doon na kakaiba. Meron tayong posisyon. Sama na rin ako. Baka kayo lang eh. Lugi naman ako. Meron tayong posisyon dun sa kalangitan na if we totally tap in it, there is something that would just change the way we think, change the way we live as Christians. Nung ginagawa ko po itong message, ako ho ay nasa heaven. Alam niyo kung 
Bakit? Pastor. Oo! Gusto niyong maniwala. Nasa aeroplano ako nung ginagawa ko yung message. Nasa heaven ako. But not the, the heavenly realm. May iba pa. May next heavenly realm. When I was praying, nakaupo ako sa, sa, sa aeroplano. Tapos, Lord, what will I share? Tapos, I remember, nakaupo ako. Tapos, nasa heaven ako. And then, suddenly, that word seated in the heavenly realm. Oo nga, no? Nakaupo ako doon sa aeroplano. Tapos, yun yung pumasok na mensahe sa akin. So sabi ko, nagpe-pray ako, tapos nag-share kami ni Hana. So ano ba yung meron dito? Bakit ba? No? Bak- bakit, ba- bakit ba sinabi ni Paul that we are seated in the heavenly realm? Next. In order that in the coming ages, he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. Basahin lang muna natin ito. Next. Verse 8, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. Kabisado na ba natin to? Dapat bilang Kristiyano, ito yung fundamental. For it is by grace that you have been saved not by works, but by faith and grace. Not by works. So that no one can boast. Para walang magmalaki, walang magmayabang. Eh, naging pastor naman ako sa church. Eh, deacon ako. Eh, council ako. No? Ayun pala, hindi pala totoong naligtas. Di ba? So that no one can boast. Eh, kami, ligtas. Ang, ang galing talaga ni Lord. Talagang kakaiba. Last verse, For we are God's workmanship, tayo daw ay lilok niya, created in Christ Jesus to do good works. That's why we have missions. Not only missions, but in our day-to-day life, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So, the fundamental is that when you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, okay, it is not by works, nor anything. It is not by just coming here sa CGF, nagpamemblo ka, ligtas ka na, and everything. Okay, that's why we have to always check if we are in the faith. Okay? And how do we know that? The, the, the inner peace that we have that when we ask God, Lord, ligtas ba ako? That's why there's a helmet of salvation. The enemy would always attack us in our mind. Na hindi ka ligtas, hindi ka ganyan. Pero the moment you, you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, the moment we receive Him, okay, naligtas tayo, at hindi lang yun, a part of us is in the heavenly realm. Okay? Isipin nyo lang muna yan. Isipin lang muna natin. A part of us is in the heavenly realm. Hmm. Lumilipad pa ba kayo? Okay. Sinabi dun eh. Okay, let, let me just go through this. See it. I had a question. Tinanong ko si Hannah, magkatabi kami sa aeroplano. Why would Paul say that God raised us up and seated us in the heavenly throne. Bakit sinabi ni Paul, let, let me read the translation in Tagalog, Ephesians 2 verse 6, Tayo ay kasamang binuhay at kasamang pinaupo sa kalangitan kay Kristo Jesus. Ang tanong ko, bakit sinabi or ginamit ni Paul yung salitang sit in a heavenly throne? Bakit hindi sinabi ni Paul that God raised us up standing in the heavenly throne? Bakit hindi sinabi, God raised us up kneeling on the heavenly throne or sleeping in the heavenly throne? Why would he use the word sit? Okay? When we look at the scriptures, we need to, to look for it, read it, different, different verses or different... Uh, uh, version, so that you would truly know. And then you have to ask God the right questions. And when you ask God the right questions, He would answer you. Okay? So tingin nyo, bakit kaya? Bakit kaya sinabi ni Paul, God raised us up with Christ and seated us. Bakit sinabing seated us? O kaya, sana sinabi man lang na uh, praying in the heavenly realm. Pero nakaupo. Bakit po nakaupo? There is something in that position that 
Paul wanted to convey to the Ephesian church. And I believe God wants to convey it to all of us also. Amen? As the church. Basahin ko yung ibang translation. Sa New King James, and raise us up together and made us sit together. Sit together. Ibig sabihin, katabi mo si Kristo. Can you imagine that? Katabi mo si Jesus. Woo! Come on, guys. That's an amazing thing. Seated us together. Sa contemporary version. Okay? Sabi nila, ano po ba magandang version, Pastor? Kung ano yung madali mong maintindihan, yun ang gamitin mo. Yun lang, napakasimple lang. Basa ka ng basa ng New King James, dahil well, hindi mo naman maintindihan. Kunyari, naintindihan mo. Ito, yung contemporary version. Sabi, God raised us from death to life with Christ Jesus and He has given us a place beside Christ in heaven. Come on, guys. Parang, wow, this is just an honor. It's just a privilege to be seated in Christ in the heavenly realm even right now. Right? Tingnan mo nga yung katabi mo. Baka may iba yung katabi mo. Okay? Ibang, ibang spirito daw. Sabi ni ano, naku, may tatlong spirito na pinadala. Okay? Kukulit ba? Sobra bang kulit? You know? Na-testing lang. na testing. Ah, may anting-anting. Kaya naman pala. Usually, yun talaga yun. Panggulo yun. Okay? I-rebuke nyo lang yun. Wala yan kay Lord. Okay. Sa Tagalog naman, sa Tagalog, babasahin ko, may isa pang Tagalog eh. Dahil sa ating pakikipag-isa kay Kristo Jesus, tayo'y muling binuhay na kasama niya upang mamunong kasama niya sa kalangitan. Ang ganda ho ng Tagalog, no? Yung isa, pinaupo lang. Yung isang translation, para tayo ay mamuno sa kalangitan. Wow! Darating ho ang elections and a lot of leaders, sabi nila, may darating daw na leader mamaya. No? But, we as Christians, we are already mamunuing, mamunuing ang English, no? Or we are already leading in the heavenly realms. Kasama natin si Kristo na namumuno. Ano yung mga pinamumunuan natin? Yung mga bagay na hinayaan ng Panginoon na tayo ay magkaroon ng responsibilidad. Kung kayo'y tatay, pinamumunuan yung pamilya nyo. Kung kayo'y magulang, pinamumunuan nyo. Kung kayo'y empleyado, pinamumunuan nyo kung ano yung binigay sa yung responsibilidad. At pinamumunuan mo ito nakasama si Kristo. Nandyan siya palagi. Okay? Sa tabi natin. Totoo ba yun? Sinabi ni Paul eh. Okay? Uh, ano bang papaniwalaan natin? Yun ang salita ng Panginoon. Di ba? So, namumuno tayo. Meron ding mamumuno sa atin. Pero it's great that we know that as we lead, kasama natin si Jesus. Wala tayong dapat maging pangamba. Di ba? Uh, yung mga government officials, that is why God established them to be the delegated authorities. However, kung ikaw ay Kristiyano, ikaw ay namumuno na. I remember one preacher says that even if you are the lowest ranking person in that place na mga kasama mo ay hindi Kristiyano, you are the highest ranking spiritual person in that place. Kung ikaw ay janitor lang, pero ikaw yung Kristiyano doon, yung CEO, yung boss, yung presidente, eh, hindi mga Christian, okay? Ikaw pa rin yung highest ranking spiritual official in that place. Okay? But that should not allow us to be arrogant of it. Okay? But you know in your heart na, na hindi ka lang basta-basta. It builds up something in us, in the inside. Okay? And God raised us up from another translation. Um, hindi ko na nakuha. Beside Christ, okay, meron pa maganda, hindi ko na nakuha. But, but the point is that we are seated beside. Okay? Seated. Bakit ba again pinaupo? Hindi ho yan pinaupong manok. Hindi mo masarap yung pinaupong manok. Okay, bakit ba tayo pinaupo doon? Let's just look. I look at the word sit. And yung meaning ng sit is to rest on the buttocks or hunches. You know? 
Kaya sabi daw nila yung upuan ng Tagalog eh, salumpuet, to sit on the botox. Sabi dito sa, sa Miriam Dictionary. Often used with down. Okay? Pero merong isang meaning pa. Sabi dito, to occupy a place as a member of an official body. Wow! So you are being seated because you are being put in that place as an official member of the body. Okay? Iba pang trans, uh, definition, to hold the session, be in session for official business. So you are seated there because you have a spiritual official business. Amen? Can you imagine that? Na meron pala akong business dito. Okay? Hindi lang yung, yung business. Mga kasama namin, business woman sa Palawan. <laughs> Nagturo kami ng business. Sabi ko, paano napunta sa business yung ano namin dito? Okay? And another one is to take position for having one's portrait painted or being photographed to serve as a model. Na, naintindihan niyo po yung definition na yun? Upo ka daw dito, tapos pipicturean ka, tapos magiging model ka. Di ba? Ipipaint ka. Sit. Okay? To sit. Okay. But I, I took the word model. God seated us in the heavenly throne because He will make us models to the other people of what He has done in our lives. Hindi buho ba yan maraming pasasalamat sa Panginoon? Ang dami-dami niya naman. There are billions of people in the world. Why us? Hindi ho ba natin naisip yan? Haven't we thought about it? Lord, ang dami-dami. To the billions of people in the world, why would you use me as a model? You know? Yung mga gusto mag-model dyan, pagkakataon nyo na maging model. Di ba? Pinaupo ka doon para makita. Kung ikaw ay naglalakad, parang hirap ata, although yung mga model naglalakad. But, but to see, to have an over you. Are, are you getting what I'm trying to say? Okay. At tinignan ko, ay hindi, meron pa palang another definition. To take position, to have one's dwelling place. Wow, dwelling. Pag sinabi yung dwelling place, you stay. You remain. When you sit, it means to stay and have a dwelling place. Okay, ano po ba yung dwelling? When you say dwelling, you remain. Ano ba? May kapahingahan. You dwell. It is like a house. You stay. You live there. No? Sabi ni Ate Didit, pwede kang magpahinga. Okay? You, you stay there. And then when I look at the word in Hebrew, the word sit, you know what was the word? The word was to sit. The word yashab muna. Sabi nyo yashab. Hindi ngasab. Okay, yashab. Okay, pag pumunta sa Israel, dapat may yashab. Okay, yashab, ha? Yashab. Okay, sit. Okay. Ang ibig sabihin sa Hebrew word is to remain and dwell. Wow, it's the same. The English word and the Hebrew word, when you look at it, when you study it, it's the same word is to dwell. Paul was trying to say here that we are dwelling. We are staying with the Most High. We are remaining there. Okay? Na, na, nagigets niyo po? And sabi dito sa 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 14, Guard through the Holy Spirit who dwells in us. So it means talagang may connection. The treasure which has been entrusted to you. The Holy Spirit is in us and it is a treasure that God has entrusted us so that He can do something in our lives. Na, na, naintindihan po ba natin nun? Parang hirap, no? Intindihan. Kasi, basta, may, 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 mayroong part kami nasa heaven and we, we are staying there. We are remaining there. 
it means we are at a vantage point. Meron tayong advantage when we are seated there. And to be seated in the heavenly places implies three things. When we say imply, strongly suggest the truth. Ito yung ibig sabihin yan. Ito yon. Okay. Number one, madali lang po ito, tatlong C. Pag nasa heaven kasi kayo, iba na yung naiisip nyo, no? <laughs> nasa aeroplano kami. Number one, connection. Okay? Kapag katabi mo sa upuan ang isang tao, naisip ko, si mayor daw pupunta mo. <laughs> okay? Pag katabi mo si mayor, syempre may connection ka. Pero it doesn't mean na pag may katabi ka, may connection ka na kaagad. Pero dito, ang sinasabi dito is that we have a different kind of connection with Jesus Christ. As Christians, we always need to go back to the fundamentals. If we don't know this, sometimes we will lag and not go further in our faith. When we say connection, a person is connected with another especially by marriage, kinship, or common interest. Do you agree? May connection ka. A political, social, professional, or commercial relationship as a position, job, and arrangement to execute orders or advance the interest of another. Malagi nating naririnig, ah, oh, pwede ka dyan, pumunta ka dyan, may connection ako dyan. Lalo na ngayon, di ba? Election. Okay. May kwento ako sa inyo, sa Palawan, eh, connected tayo sa body of Christ. Doon. Kilala ko yung pastor and everything. So, kinonek niya ako sa mga tao na magbibigay sa amin ng bahay. Doon sa R&R namin, sa, sa bang, sa Underground River. And, fast forward the story, walang ilaw. Doon. Nagkakailaw pala ala sa is ng gabi. Okay, so yung mga cellphone namin patay. Sabi, pwede daw mag-charge doon sa information at sa presinto. So, may napagpray ako mga pulis, tapos pumunta ako sa presinto, doon kami nakipag-charge. Okay? Yung presinto nila, ang babait ng tao doon. Walang nakakulong sa presinto. Talaga, walang nakakulong. Sabi namin, babait ah. So, nag-charge kami, iniwan ko doon. Pag nawala pa naman yung cellphone ko, eh, ay, ay, cellphone ni Hannah muna pala yun. Ewan ko na lang. Di ba? So, kinuha ko na. Tapos, nung ako na, mag-charge, pinunta sa information. Sa information ako. Nag-swimming kami and everything. Nakalimutan ko yung cellphone. Pagbalik ko, nakalak na. Alay-alay. Sabi ko, nasan o yung nagbubukas? Eh, puntahan nyo doon. Punta na ako. Medyo kung saan-saan ako pumunta. Tapos may kubo-kubo. Parang malayo na ito. Ah. Sabi ko, no? Tapos nung nakilala ko, pangalan pa, Buling Ling. Hanapin mo daw si Buling Ling. Mga pangalan eh. No? Tapos, pagdating doon, nasaan po si Buling Ling? Eh, umalis na po. Pumunta sa isang isla. Naku, patay tayo. Walang susi. Okay? Yung cellphone ko, hindi naman ganun kamamahalin. Mukha lang siyang remote control. Okay? Pero linya ho kasi siya. Pag ginamit mo, pwede. You know? Kung di matcha-charge ako, yari, kailangan kong kunin. Kung sabi ko, may iwan na yan, bahala na dyan. Di ba? Bahala na dyan. So ngayon, nakaisip akong idea. Pero alam nyo, mamaya, mayroong divine appointment din yon. Yung connection ng pastor na nagdala sa amin, sabi ko, kinausap ko, tinawag ko, ganyan. Sabi ko, eto na lang. Tapos, ipadala mo na lang sa jeep kinaumagahan. Kasi may bumabiyahe. Ang ganda sa probinsya, no? Yung connection. So, hindi naman ako natatakot. Siguro kung iPhone ito, yari. Baka hindi na bumalik. Pero tawag lang ako ng tawag. I was connecting. May mga connection sila. May mga kakilala. And to make the long story short, no, nakuha ko yung cellphone ko kinaumagahan. Bumalik. Okay? Ang layo ho eh. Parang two hours siguro mga nasa, ewan ko kung mabilis lang, ordaneta. Ganon kalayo yung lugar. Okay, so bumalik yung cellphone sa akin. At alam niyo yung jeep na nagdala? Ano yung pangalan ng jeep na nagdala? No? Pangalan ng jeep, The Christ. Diba? Ay, prophetic yun, ha? Diba? So, in other words, what I'm trying to say is that when we are connected, 
with the right kind of people, things can happen. Things can easily be done. And things can be accomplished. How much more if we are connected with the Most High? What are the things that we have been waiting for? Amen? Alam nyo, minsan, no, dumating sa, ako, nagpapastor, ang dami ho, uh, we carry a lot. But when you go back to that fundamental, okay, you get to be humbled and rebuked by the Lord. Now, my son, don't worry about that. I will take care of that. You are connected with me. Di po ba? Kahit sino pang barangay official, kung sino pang senator or what, kapag ikaw ay connected kay Lord, wala kang pangamba. Amen? So are you connected? Sabi nga, the connection, later on, we will take the communion and we will remember that connection. Connected ka, kapatid. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, connected ka. Letter C, a relation, yung, yung, yung isa pang definition nito, a, pag connected tayo, a relation of personal intimacy. Nakuha niyo yun? Pag connected ka, ang definition daw na yun, personal. So, ibig sabihin may access ka. Na, na, naintindihan po natin? No? It's just, just so amazing, even when I preach here, when that concept comes to you, wow, that, that, that is so comforting to, to receive from the Lord. Okay? When you are seated in the heavenly throne, when you are seated, it means you are connected, fully connected. Hindi pwedeng sabihin sa cell phone, cannot be reached. No? You are not in the right place, di ba? It's always in reach. It will always have a signal. Amen? So mga kapatid, panghawakan natin yon. Number two, tatlong silang ito, communication. Pag sinabi yung communication, a process by which information is exchanged. When you say communication, it is not one way. It is a two-way process of individual. When you are seated in the heavenly throne, katabi mo si Lord, it means you communicate with Him. Okay? Hindi lang yung isa. Sometimes when we pray, we don't communicate. Why? Because tayo lang ang salita ng salita. We don't want to listen. We need to listen and allow God to speak to us. It is a process. Exchange information. Lord, sometimes when you pray, you listen so that the info that God wants you to say, it will be communicated to you. May gusto kang isang bagay. Humihingi ka kay Lord. Pray ka lang ng pray. Pero hindi mo naman siya pinapakinggan din. Hindi mo hinahanap yung will niya. You don't get the exchange. He loves to communicate. Our God is a God who loves to communicate. That is why sometimes may mga trials tayo and problems. You know why that He allows it? Because sometimes He just wants you and Him alone in His presence. Kung tayo pinagpapala na masyado, or uh, sobra na yung mga pagpapala, minsan yung iba sa atin nakakalimot na. Nagpipray tayo ng mga bagay nung sinagot na ni Lord. Nakalimutan na natin mag-communicate. But remember, we are seated in the heavenly throne. Katabi natin si, si Jesus. Gumaganon siya palagi. That is why things are not going on our way because God wants us to be reminded that, hey, anak, it's between you and me. I want your time. No? He wants our time. And we need to spend time. We have to communicate. <clears throat> Sabi sa James chapter 4, verse 8, Come close to God, <coughs> and God will come close to you. If you engage to God, He will also engage. In another translation, draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Right? Because sometimes, we always forget about who 
we are in Christ. We are seated in the heavenly realm. Meaning, there is so much that the Lord wants us to exercise, but sometimes our minds, our hearts cannot conceive it. If we can't conceive it, we cannot release it. Did you get that? If you don't conceive it in the inside, you cannot release it. We need to conceive it. We need to know it in the inside. That's why God is reminding us. And as we take the communion, we are to be reminded. Come near to God and He will come near to you. Communication today has become hard. For us, city people. Do you agree? Sino yung mga nag-mission? Taas nga ang kamay. Okay. Paglabas natin doon, di ba na nasa probinsya, pagtingin mo palang sa langit, God is already communicating with us. When I saw the stars, tapos ang liwanag, ang ganda-ganda parang, wow, Lord. It's amazing. Ay, naglalabaho ako kasi yung tubig namin doon. Sa inyo ba may tubig? Sa klarin? Wala rin. Meron. Nawawala rin, no? Oo. So, laba kami. Laba. Habang naglalaba, walang ilaw. <laughs> Yan yung ano doon, eh. Magiigib ka pa. Habang naglalaba, pero nakatingin ka naman sa langit. Ang ganda-ganda. Tahimik. So, God was already communicating. Mga kapatid, God loves to communicate. And all of us, there is something in our heart, mga kapatid, that wants to communicate. Pero minsan, yung kausap natin, hindi tayo maintindihan. Frustrated na frustrated tayo. Buti na lang si God, naintindihan niya tayo. At hindi lang yon, gusto niya rin na makipag-communicate sa atin. Amen? So mga kapatid, you are seated in the heavenly realm. We're gonna do a communi communication and communion later on. And lastly, letter C is the word confidence. When you are seated in the heavenly realm, you need to have that confidence. Okay, what is confidence? A feeling or conscious, you are conscious of one's power or of reliance, nagre-rely ka on one's circumstances. Yun yung definition nito. However, here, this is the definition, you change the circumstances to God. Or of reliance on one who can change your circumstances. Amen? The one who can change. Another definition is that it is a faith or belief that one will act in a right, proper, or effective way. That when you have confidence, when we have trust in God, you know, we know, that He will do something about it. Pwede ko naman sigurong i-share, no? Sa team namin, uh, we talked about business. Dito ko natutunan na whatever you do, the enemy will attack you in that same uh, pattern that you have shared. We shared business. And later on, okay, sa team namin, there was an attack sa mga businesses. Okay, sabi namin, ganun pala yun. Na-impress sa heart ni Hannah. No? But, sabi namin, yaan nyo muna yan. Mag-enjoy tayo dito, R&R natin. And to make that long story short, because hinayaan nila muna, they relied, they had confidence with the one who can change their circumstances, nag-okay na. Di ba nag-okay na? Nag-okay na. Yung, yung, yung business. Kasi nasa Palawan, may naiwang business. Siyempre, yung mga businessman, di ba? Kahit saan, businesswoman, kahit nasaan sila, eh, chinicheck. Kailangan nakakonek. Pero kung muntik nang may nagawang mali, kung hindi nag kay God. But when you have that confidence, when you say confidence, okay, yung confidence na even if you step and you don't see it, you know it's really going to happen. Sinabi ni Lord eh. No? We, you are seated. Kung baga sinasabi ni Lord na ganyan. Go! Go! Come on, go! Dito ako. Di ba? Hindi yung sinasabi natin na, Sige, gawin mo yan. Akong bahala. Sabi naman nung, ano, ako kawawa. 
Di ba? Gawin mo yan kasi si God ang magpapala. Amen? Confidence. When you are seated in the heavenly throne, when we are seated in the heavenly throne, we will have that confidence. When we say confidence, again, there is a part where intimacy comes in. Ang definition pa rin na nakuha sa Merriam-Webster, hindi kaya kristyano si Merriam-Webster, no? natutumbok niya eh. Sabi dito, a relation of trust or intimacy. Have you ever trusted someone and they failed you? Yes. Sometimes the ones who will fail us are the ones who are close to us. The, tama, who got the ones who we love the most. Tama? However, no? Sabi nga, wag tayong magtiwala sa tao, okay? But we will, will put our confidence in the one who will change our circumstances. And that is God. Kapag nandun yung confidence natin, no matter what, magkagera na, no? may nababasa po ako ngayon, malapit na, nasa Scarborough Shoal na daw yung mga Chinese. No? Nag-iisip na rin ako, saan kami pupunta later on? No? Pag binomba ang Manila, no? dito na, punta kami Palawan, kahit magtago, magigirilya na lang kami. <laughs> Di ba? But you know, you have that confidence in God that no matter what, He will take care. No? Magkagera man. Okay, wag naman po sana. Diba? We have that confidence. Again, there are three things that, 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 that God wants to remind us. That is the connection, that is the communication, and that is the confidence. Why? Again, why? Why God wants us to sit here? Okay, but let me go back to that confidence. Yung mga words. Sabi, so we can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. So I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? Sabihin nga natin yon, sabay-sabay lang ah. Okay, sabihin nyo lang. So we can say with confidence, The Lord is my helper. So I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? Alam niyo, pag nababasa niyo yung mga ganito, parang yung confidence niyo, nabibuild up talaga, no? Kahit, kahit tayo pa yung mali. Kasi minsan, pag, pag tayo yung mali, parang nahiya tayo ng ganon. Pero kahit ikaw yung mali, you still have that confidence that God still loves you no matter what. Amen? E ano, kung nagkamali ako, God still loves me, I need to repent, but I don't need to abuse His grace. Remember, but, we have that confidence. In Hebrews 10.19, Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, when we are taking the communion, we are remembering that we are entering with confidence the holy place. Wow! You can access the most, nilang holy place, the most holy place by the blood of Jesus. Tama po? In John chapter 4, 1 John chapter 4, verse 17. This is how love is made complete among us that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. Can, can you... In this world, we are like Him. Alam niyo po yung purpose na pinaupo tayo? I love this. We are like Jesus in this world. We represent Jesus. We don't become like Jesus. Are you getting it? Hindi yung may balbas, hindi yung long hair, and everything. We don't become God kasi yung iba kulto, ako si, uh, siya daw ang anak ng Diyos. Diba? But it is said because in this world, we are like Him. In other translation, we are like Jesus. So we need to walk like Jesus. When we are seated in the heavenly realm, God is like Saying to us, hey, eto representative ko, eto ang Jesus ko dyan. Sino yun? Tayo. No? Maring may, may, may umano sa akin sa teolohiya na yun. Pero sinabi dito, in this world, we are like Jesus. In 1 John 5.14, this is the confidence we have in approaching God. I love this. That if we ask anything 
according to His will, He hears us. We have the confidence, mag-ask ka kung kahit anong gusto mo. Pwede ba yung pasto? Pwede. Meron namang condition eh, according to His will. Kung hindi naman will niya, eh, hindi niya ibibigay. Pero anything, sky is the limit. Di ba? According to His will, He hears us. Amen? That's the confidence. Kasi minsan nakala natin si God ang layo-layo, si pastor lang nakakausap kay God, si pastor lang nakakarinig kay God. Ang trabaho ng pastor, itulak kayo kay God. Tama? Di ba? Yun ang trabaho namin. And what is the purpose of all of the communication, all of the connection, all of the confidence? It's in verse 7, Ephesians 2, 7. So God can point to us in all future ages as examples of the incredible wealth of His grace and kindness towards us. So in the future, as we are seated, as we are being changed, God will make us models just like Him so that He can show, maipapakita niya yung walang hanggang kabutihan, walang hanggang kayamanan niya na ipinakita niya na at ginawa niya na sa atin. So mga kapatid, are you seated in the heavenly realm? If you still don't know this, God wants you to remember today as we take the communion that there is so much in you. He values us so much that He has made us sit with Him. Not just the President of the Philippines, we're gonna do the election later on. Ang hirap po na maka-connect sa mga public officials. I remember, I'm not boasting about this, but it's a privilege that I have uh, seen three president of the Philippines face to face. Yung isa, si Ramos, wala siyang, ano, yung, yung salamin niya, uh, butas. Nagtatabako, pero ninangata lang yung tabako. Si Erap, maliit lang pala si Erap. No? Maliit lang, pero guwapo. Kahit matanda na, guwapo talaga. Si uh, Gloria Makapagal Arroyo, maliit talaga. Okay, pitit. Nag-usher kami dun sa uh, City Hall. Tapos kami nila, FBR, nag-golf. No? Ang lakas-lakas ni FBR. Kami naka-cart. Siya naglalakad. Hinihingal kami. Sabi ko, pabira ito. Okay? But that is the privilege that I can get because I am seated with Christ in the heavenly realm. Kung hindi ako kristyano, hindi ako nagpastor, hindi mangyayari sa akin yun. I'm not boasting about it, but I'm boasting about what God has done in my life. And you need to also need to know that. As we take the communion, mga kapatid, remember, you are seated, not standing, not kneeling, but in a position where there is connection, there is communication, and there is confidence in Him. Amen. Tayo po manalangin. Father, we thank you that today you have reminded us to know that we are seated in the heavenly realm. Father, we thank you. And when we are reminded of this, would you give a spiritual nudge in us so that we will walk in faith, we will walk knowing with greater assurance that you are with us. That you will change every circumstances in our life. So God, we thank you. Bless us. And even as we take the communion, continue to strengthen us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.